Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is me. I'm your host. And today we're going to talk about the bad and boring makeup tag questions. If you're curious of my answers, please keep on watching. I saw this tag a while ago. It consists of 10 questions. And you know what? Let me get it started. So the subject is the bad and the boring makeup tag questions. Makeup tag questions. Here we go. First one, the foundation a foundation finish you don't like I don't like very very shiny I don't mind when it's dewy but I don't like shiny maybe because I get used to matte finish but if it's okay if it's like more than glass skin it's a little bit too much the second one the worst mascara you have ever tried the worst one, I would say like in general, if the mascara has those plastic spikes, which if you stab yourself in the eye, it's gonna hurt. Yes, those are the one. If it's like a natural bristle, I'm fine. But if it's like a bunch of plastic spikes, no, I cannot do that. Next question. One thing you try once and threw it away. It was a face primer from Pure, comes in a blue package. I used it once, I hated what it did to my skin because it was peeling and my makeup was looking horrible. I just threw that thing away. Next one, the most boring eyeshadow palette you own. It's not really boring. The boring eyeshadow, it's gonna be, let me just show you. This is Cargo eyeshadow palette. If you look at it, it has browns. So yes, it's universal, but because it's so simple, it's kind of boring. Question number five. A makeup trend, you think it's boring, I want to go away. For the longest time, those were the matte lips, but right now it's highlight. I don't mind a little bit of highlight, but if you look like a disco ball and I can see you from like two miles away, guess what? It's a little bit too much. The worst liquid lipstick you have tried. I'm not a big fan of liquid lipstick because they look horrible on me. It doesn't matter what I'm gonna try because they're all gonna uh, break it apart and separate. I try Rimmel Wet n Wild, Esther, I'm sure there was something else. Pretty much I'm not a big fan of uh, liquid matte lipsticks. Number seven, what color do you think is the most boring? The most boring it's gonna be brown, but at the same time it's the most universal and it suits everyone. What brand do you think comes out with boring things? Revlon and Maybelline, they recently come up uh, come up with new lip products. So I would say they redeem themselves. All May, they come up with like awesome blushes. The most boring, I would say it's NYX or NYX. For the longest ever, I should say years back, yes, they were the number one step if you need some, let's say new colors or pretty much if you want to try new makeup. But because so many brands come up next they just kind of get lost and you don't really hear about them anymore okay two more questions to go which step in your makeup routine is the most boring one i would say it's going to be two steps number one it's going to be applying my mascara and second it's applying my foundation because i'm just keep stippling with the uh, blending sponge last one if you have if you had to choose between a good base and bad eyeshadow look or bad base and good eyeshadow look okay so good base crappy eyes or good eyes crappy makeup Whew. okay uh let's say i will go for good base and crappy makeup because if your skin looks good, you can easily handle the eyes. Okay, those were all the questions. Let me know if you've seen, if you've seen some similar tags or what are your questions? No, what are your answers to those questions? Okay, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.